good guys? It's one third of the sexiest looking guys on YouTube. And today we're going to be doing our reverse shoe collection. You're probably wondering what the heck a reverse shoe collection is. Well, today we're going to get hands on and I'm going to show you. Time to switch the camera around so you can see all my beauties. All right. I know it's, it's, it's a lot. I know. But they all have stories, and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you the stories. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. I know you can't see all my shoes right now, but I'm gonna show you them, and they all have stories. Which is why it's a reverse shoe collection, not because everything I have is super nice, and I have a lot of J's, I have a lot of shoes. It's because they're not that nice to people. But they mean something to me. Okay, so let's start with my pimp shoes. Because I'm a pimp. Alright. These bad boys right here. Maybe they're. Maybe they are my. Uh, what is it called? Alice in Wonderland? Maybe they're my, my, my heel clickers. I can't remember the name. Oh, my Ruby shoes or some, something like that. Anyway. Okay, so. I got these shoes when I moved to Illinois. Look how crisp, look how clean they are though. And I got them because I am a really classy guy. I like to wear nice clothes. I like to wear stuff like that. But I got these because I really thought they were gonna be cool. And then I got them and I realized they were longer than I wanted like on the toe. And they made me look like, like a pimp. <laughs> but I wore them one time. I've never wore them more than one time. And I only wore them to church one time and surprisingly they did pretty good they got a lot of feedback a lot of people were like yo those are nice and I was like yo I'm never wearing these again <laughs> so that's the story behind Alice in Wonderland shoes okay next one oh we'll go we'll go to these bad boys right here the I hate Corey and Josh Vance freaking Amber Alert I mean, whoever it is, I'm sorry if you're missing, but dang. I got an amber alert. Sorry. Okay. The I call these the I hate Josh and Corey's because I had these things literally for six freaking days. Wore them to Florida, got back, and this is what happened. In our very first video ever, they tossed me into a pond with these on. I know you guys can't really tell, like, they look good to you, but they're not. There's yellow rings around the heels, there's yellow all over the top of them. It freaking makes me angry to wear them, and it makes me angry to look at them. So thanks a lot, Josh and Corey. Next. Okay. I've never owned a pair of J's until these. These are my first ever pair of J's that I ever wore, and they're, I got them from a girl. They're, they're guy's shoes, but I bought them from a girl. Whatever. Don't know what the name of them are. I'm just going to call them my lawnmower ones. Because I use them to mow lawns now. But uh, when I got them, I thought I was like super, super cool when I got them. And I started wearing them, and they started uh, getting annoying. And I played basketball with them, and I rolled my ankle because there's no support. So I was like, I don't like these shoes. I'm not a big fan of Jordan because I feel like he prices way too much on his shoes, so I don't mess with Jordans like that. But this is my first, and I only have one other pair of J's. I don't have them no more, but they are Flight 6's black and white. My KD's. I have a hoop dream. I can't play basketball, but I like to hoop. And I popped a bubble in them the fourth time I ever wore them. I mess shoes up easily, and it, it really angers me. But... I popped a bubble in them and I never, I, I basically wear them just to do things now because the bubble in them pops so I really can't, you know, fly high, my touch the net, Macklemore with these anymore. These are my, my, my stomp your mom shoes. You know, when you make me angry, I put these on, I go outside and everybody just knows that it's going down. And they're also really comfy. My sandals. I mean, I have another pair. They're all black, but I really uh, I like these ones. They're actually really like comfy. I don't know. I love sandals. 
my first ever pair of Kobe's I ever got. These bad boys right here. I wore these all day, every day, nonstop. Because I never had a pair of Kobe's before and I really liked them. I bought them with my own money. Probably one of the only pairs like when, as an adult that I've bought with my own money. I really don't like to buy shoes a whole lot because I try to make my other shoes last. But these are my Kobe's and I wear them every now and then to hooping. I don't wear them anymore because uh, I was running outside and it was snowy and I scraped my, I slipped. I said, whoop, and I slipped and the front of them got hit. So they're hit, I don't wear them. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna go with these. These are my church shoes. AKA the shoes that I've only wore one time, just like the pimp shoes. I've only wore these one time and it was to my graduation. I graduated in these, and I only wore these one time. These actually mean quite a bit to me. Uh, they're really dusty. You, you could probably see the dust on them. I have no idea. I hit them. <coughs> I'm nine. Well, well, maybe not. Yeah, these are my church shoes. Another pair of classy shoes. I like to wear classy shoes. I have a black and a gray pair of these. I'm not going to show them just because... I can't find them. <laughs> but yeah, I really like to dress, dress classy. I like to look good, impress the ladies. I, I really don't like going out looking bad at all. So these shoes are a must. Ooh, let, me, let me show you these bad boys. I call these the Grease Buckets ones. The Grease Buckets. Because these are my Wendy working shoes. I work at Wendy's. <laughs> and these have a lot of grease on them yeah maybe you can tell maybe you can't but they're nasty not hey gotta have the non-grip though to work there even though i'd be sliding all over the place they don't even freaking work i almost fell out the drive through window handed somebody something so they don't even freaking work but these are the grease bucket ones i like the way they look actually i would probably wear them as like with an actual outfit because they look pretty nice The way I hit those, you guys should already know, these are my Tims. My all black Tims. Only pair of Tims I ever owned. Only pair of Tims I love. I love the all black. I love black shoes. I love black people. But the, the thing that ang angers me about these is I'm pretty sure my ex put some, uh, yeah, you can see right there, I'm pretty sure she uh, threw some bleach on them or something. And they're pretty much ruined. I tried to clean them off. So if anybody can tell me how to clean these off. Please put them in the comments down below because these are one of my favorite shoes. But she, I, I'm pretty sure she got upset at me and threw bleach on them or something. Uh, whatever. Ooh. Ooh, y'all not ready for these. Bam! My lawnmower twos. Look how messed up they are. Funny story about these. Again, I only wore them a couple times. I left them at my friend Dalton's house and his brother decided to wear them a whole lot. You know who you are, Jackson. I know you're going to be watching this video. And they got messed up. But I really don't care because it cost me like 12 bucks off of Wish.com. So these are my lawnmower 2.0s. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. I got the heat, I got the heat. My fake Yeezys. No, I'm just kidding. They're not fake Yeezys. They're Adidas. I have no idea what the name of them are. But they are actually... Some of my favorite pairs of shoes, they're really, really comfy, and I do a lot of, I wear these a lot, actually. These are my favorite shoes. I don't wear a whole lot of other shoes than these just because they're really comfy, and I like to look sporty. Plus, I need to go shoe shop, and I need to get some more shoes, to be honest, because I wear these a lot. All right, you guys. I saved the very best for last. The very best shoes for last. I don't even know what to call these. Y'all y'all come up with a name of what these are. I'm going to go with my elf shoes or maybe my, uh, what are them, what are them orange things? Oompa Loompa shoes. I don't know. But they are pretty nice. I yet, I've had them for over two years and I've yet to find an outfit to wear to them. My sister got me them for Christmas because she knows I like uh, classier shoes and I have a very unique style. I wear a lot of different colors to be honest so thank you sam to 
for giving me these and, and the thoughtfulness counted. I'm pretty sure they're girl shoes anyway, but I've yet to find an outfit with them. You guys come up with the name for them and that's what I'll call them. That's the reverse shoe collection. It's not flashy, it's not a whole lot of J's, not a whole lot of, whoa! But they all mean something to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. I got my, these, these, these mean the most to me right here. I've only wore them a couple times and the shoelaces, the shoelaces are coming off of them just because I undid them or I think my, um, my puppy did. I don't have her no more, by the way, but she didn't die. I had to give her away. Um, these boots right here, they mean the most to me because, um, uh, I wore them to a funeral and the person's funeral just so happened to be like a mom to me and they let me they let me carry her casket and stuff so these shoes mean the most to me I probably honestly will keep these for as long as I can just because they are that sentimental to me um, yeah so hopefully yeah these are these are definitely my favorite pair of shoes because they mean the most to me they have the they have the most story behind them. That's my shoe collection, my reverse shoe collection because they're not freaking J's. I know everybody does this and it's it's crazy shoes all over the place, but I, I don't have a whole lot of money like that and I do not have uh, a lot of shoes like that. So that's my reverse shoe collection. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I just wanna thank God each and every day because without him, none of this would be possible to give you guys content. So. Put some prayer requests down below and we'll get back to you guys. Much love. Love you. I'm out.